Thank you for registering for the Sitefinity Sandbox. The Sandbox is an online hosted experience that provides you with a quick and easy way to try out Sitefinity CMS without having to install any software on your computer. The Sandbox gives you access to the functionality of the latest Sitefinity Enterprise Edition. It's perfect in those cases when you want to experiment with Sitefinity's out-of-the-box features or when you want to provide access credentials to other members of your team evaluating Sitefinity. And you can simply access your newly created demo website through your own browser. The Sandbox is perfect for business users, content authors, or marketing experts so they can get a sense of the usability of Sitefinity CMS and the collaboration flow. The Sandbox is not recommended for developers and IT managers who may want to get access to the project's solution and files or for developing a proof-of-concept project. Once you've activated your account, Sitefinity sends you an email with two links, and you should keep this email for future reference. The first link in the email is your public URL with the domain name that you provided following the selection process. Your public domain leads you to a website for a fictitious company called Quantum, when you make changes on the Sitefinity backend, it's this website you'll come to in order to see edits and changes. The second URL gives you access to the Sitefinity CMS backend. First, click on the link of the backend and provide the username and password that was sent to you in your email. Now that you're logged in, you're brought first to the dashboard. This is the area where you can see the Sitefinity navigation and links to a few getting started resources and videos. The essential work areas are accessed through the top-level navigation. The first two pages that you'll see, Pages and Content, are the areas where the CMS users are likely to spend most of their time. So in order to learn how the system works, it's best to get started from there. The navigation also leads you to other sections that you can start exploring afterwards, such as email campaigns and e-commerce modules, along with design, administration, and marketing sections. If you're just getting started with the system, it's best to get started with the Pages section. Here you will notice that we've already set up the back end of the Quantum website, including page sections for Home, Products, Online Shop, Inside Quantum, About Us, Internal Resources, and even a Store Locator. Let's start by clicking on the Home page. Once on this page, you will notice that a set of widgets have already been set in place for you to work with, including a content block for the main banner and a list widget with a complete set of products, product images, and product specifications. To the right of the browser, you'll notice a column with two buttons at the top, one for content widgets and the other for layout elements. To get started, try making your first change to the Quantum homepage by editing the headline of the featured product on the top banner. There are two ways that you can do this. You can make changes while you're browsing your website through inline editing, or make the changes through your backend. You've discovered a typo in the headline. To fix it, simply enable the inline editing mode by clicking Edit Content. As your mouse hovers over the headline, it becomes highlighted in yellow. Just click on the text and make your changes to the headline. Then select Publish All, and in seconds you're done. Now let's make another edit by going to the backend. In the Pages section, select the home page. To make a change to the product specifications, simply click Edit. Within the editor, you type in the new specifications. Then click Save Changes and you're done. Now let's add a blog post and a comment section to the Quantum homepage below the list of featured products. First, click on Layout in the right-hand column and drag a layout element below the list block. You have many layouts to choose from depending on whether you want this section to be one column, two columns, three, or four. Let's say you want a two-column layout. Select the 50% by 50% layout element and drag it below the Featured Products section. Now go back to the Content Widgets and click on the Blog Post widget. Drag that to the first column of your layout element. You want only one blog post displayed, so go to Edit and click on List Settings. From there, select Use Limit and enter the numeral 1. And after you press Save, you'll notice that only one blog post is now displayed. Next, you want to give Quantum customers a place to leave comments. From the Content Widgets, click on the Comments widget and drag it to the other side of your layout element. Now you're ready to publish your changes. Simply click on the Publish button in the upper left-hand corner. Then go to the Quantum homepage and refresh the browser. You've just updated the Quantum homepage. Notice your banner now is updated, and you now have both a blog post and comments section in the bottom half of your homepage. 
These are just a few examples to help you get started with your Sitefinity CMS experience. We hope you enjoy this video tutorial. Now go to the Sitefinity Sandbox and try it for yourself.